Hey guys, you know, sometimes you have this, this opportunity or a chance to, to do something, something that you hope is special. And I thought the weather was going to cooperate with me. And, and honestly, I think it probably did. I woke up, got to my friend's house, dropped off Thomas, then went to my friend's house and the weather was snotty. It was rainy. It was no sun was out. There was wind. It was what I had imagined and the barometer had changed quite a bit. And I thought, you wanna know, the, the fish is gonna be on, the bite's gonna be on today. So I brought three rods and three lures, and one of them was the, the stutter step, which I really was hoping was gonna be the successful one today, uh, because if there was a little bit of a wind and I thought that it, they wouldn't be able to see it. So I started throwing this. And uh, quickly, as I bumped something, quickly, realize they don't want top water. So I casted this maybe eight or 10 times and just worked it real slow, back, 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 back. Cause this thing just jumps in the water. It just, it almost does a 180 as it turns. It's a, a fantastic top water bait, but that's not what they were looking for. So I changed over to rod number two, a chatter bait. It's what was successful last time and I should have started off with it. Uh, but I, you know, I was trying something different. So, of course, first cast, fish on. First cast, little boy, Shimano, Castaway 7 foot, Invictus Tuke, Shimano DC, Z Man Chatterbait, not too bad. I make a couple more casts, get another bite, and uh, everything comes off. Everything comes off except the metal piece of the chatterbait. Of course, I don't have another one. So then I go to my worm, which I had rigged as uh, the new naked ball jigs that I took off his hooks and put on a Daiichi bleeding bait hook and a DOA worm. I worked that in one spot, I think on the third or fourth cast, I feel the rod tip bend a little bit. I set the hook and out of, out of nowhere, my line just goes flying towards me. No rig at all. No naked ball jig at all.
So now I'm down a chatterbait and the naked ball rig, the naked ball jig with the DOA worm on it. So it's back to the stutter step. So I fish the stutter step for a little bit and without any success, unfortunately. So then, that, then my plan is, you wanna know what? I just need to go up to the store, go to Dick's or Academy or whatever's, wherever's closer and go buy some chatterbaits. It's ridiculous that I don't, I didn't bring any with me. I should say that that was the last one I had, but I should have more. I ordered some, but they haven't come in yet. So I went up to uh, Dick's and they had a sale on them for the original chatterbaits for $3.99 each. So I proceeded to buy $80 worth of them. I'm never running out of one of these again. So I continue to fish, caught another one. Rods do great. The Castaway Invicta 2 work perfectly. The Shimano Corrado DC 150. I just can't say any more about it. I've got it dialed into where I don't backlash at all. I can cast as far as I cast with a, a spinning rod, which I normally do, uh, and I'm just having a lot of success and I'm enjoying this reel. So I used, uh, of course, two seven foot rod, three seven foot rods and uh, Castaway Invicta two rods lined with a 10 pound Power Pro. Uh, one of them has this Corrado DC 150. The other two have Shimano CI4 spinning reels. One of them's old trusty. And the rods and the reels, everything worked perfectly. If anything failed, it might've been my casting. The wind was howling a little bit and I was noticing as soon as some of my casts were getting brought to where they were getting caught in weeds and stuff. The, the Power Pro would, would make its way in there. But overall, very successful day. Caught a couple fish, actually caught three fish. One I didn't get on camera. Wanted to make sure I had my, my uh, bait running properly. And of course the first cast it hit. So I gotta again thank uh, Craig and Aaron for allowing me in the backyard and fishing. That's a, a great spot. Uh, I appreciate them letting me go out there and uh, I appreciate you guys watching what we do and maybe listening to us Saturday morning, 6 to 9 a.m. on, on uh, iHeartRadio. You can find us on, uh, the station is 96.9 and then it's in the Tallahassee and the Panhandle too. But here in Orlando, it's 96.9 The Game. So you can listen to us on there. Again, we want you to subscribe, click the notification button, uh, comment, like. At the same time, if you're gonna do that, you might as well go to our Facebook page, like it, and then send us a private message. It's uh, facebook.com slash fishing Florida. Of course, if you're there, send us a private message and tell us that you saw the video and you want some free, free, free tackle, we'll send it to you. Or if you feel more inclined, go to info at fishingfloridaradio.com, that's the email address, and you can send us an email. But please make sure you send us your address. Just say, Steve told me to email you and I want some free stuff. Here's my address. We're not selling it to anybody. We're not giving it to anyone. We're just passing it along to our sponsors and they send you bunches of stuff. So I hope you have a great day. I wanna say thank you to Castaway who made today's vlog or episode happen. Castaway has a great deal right now. If you wanna to go to castawayrods.com or castawayfishing.com, you can go in there and they have the, new, the Skeleton V2 series line. They're on sale 
for $129.99. But if you use FFR 2019, you get 20% off that price and free shipping. So it's like a $60 saving on a $129 rod right there. So you cannot beat it. It's already on sale. It's a great deal. You should go check it out and you'll be pleasantly surprised on how great castaway rods are. So thank you to them. Uh, of course, listen to the show, subscribe, do all that stuff. Uh, but we hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching and take a kid fishing. Until we see you again, get your fish on. Year four, about 15 minutes. I came to this park and this background on the St. John's so that I wouldn't have to have anybody hear me or I could talk louder to the camera and so forth. That woman has given a soliloquy on today. She has not stopped talking from when I got here 15 minutes ago. I don't know what she's talking about. I have no clue, but for the love of God. Now I got a bird yelling at me. What the hell? See you later.